Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Depression Sports Factory Podcast. Be more energetic, <laughs> dog. Today, I'll be talking about the San Antonio Spurs and how bright their future is because they've already had a great future with Tim Duncan. They've already had David <laughs> Robinson. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Chill That's out. That's some good energy right there. I like Jesse, that. Jesse, relax. Relax, Jesse. I got, I, got the, I got the cross. I got the cross. Mm. Christian energy. That was the most depressing I have been in a long time. That's the most depressed I was <laughs> since my birthday when I was 20. And that ridiculous oh, day. Wow. You put that, a lot of, they put a lot of a lot of hope into that drive too. That took a lot out of me. Cause not only not only did I not pick in the top three, but the Spurs got number one. If mm-hmm. the Hornets got number one, that's cool. I'm ready for it. That's great. Because certain teams, I'm like, hey, y'all never had plot. Y'all never had a superstar. Mm-mm. Let's get y'all. Let, let's let's let y'all have fun, right? If you're a trailblazer, you know to give Dame someone to play with. If you're the Hornets, Lamelo and Victor Webinyama. If you're the Pacers, you get someone. This and that. They gave it to the freaking San Antonio Spurs. Oh my gosh! Did you really give it to the franchise with the best winning percentage in American sports history? What's wrong with that? That's why he did it. They had Tim. Duncan already for 20 years. Well, they about to have another 20 years with this nigga. <laughs> and, and you tell are you telling me? And I, I tell and I tell you this. Number one, a couple of things. It's rigged. That was rigged. That's a thousand percent plot rigged. You mm. can't tell me Tony Parker and freaking Boris Diaw, people who were involved in his team, the Metropolitan 92. Right, you can't tell me this guy wearing a Tony Parker jersey when he's a kid. You can't tell me when the freaking owner or whoever the guy was to represent all smiley and happy when everyone else is nervous. He's happy and smiling. You can't tell me that that wasn't rigged. There is no way that San Antonio with a fourteen percent chance. How do we got a fourteen percent chance? Detroit got a fourteen percent chance, and San Antonio and Detroit number five, and I'm number four. They number one. How they 14% better than me? What they got 14% I ain't got? It's ass, dog. (laughs) That lottery shit, I ass. You telling me the Spurs suck for one year and they get Victor Webinyama and I suck for three years, I get cock out of fool? I think since (laughs) since it's just changed, the lottery's changed, I don't think the number, whoever has the lowest, whoever has the the worst record, they haven't won that shit since. It's been like five years. It's been the last five Five years. Five years and not, not, not a single, not, I don't know. Who was like the last, the worst pick last year was probably the Pistons, right? Or was it Pistons last year? That was year? me. That was me. Oh, oh yeah. I, mean, you oh, I, had the, I had the worst record and I didn't get the, the first record. The worst record, though, yeah. See? And That's the year just... before, I had the worst record and didn't get the first pick. See, there you go. I got the worst record for 20 years and I'm not going to bring Yeah, it's, it's probably going to be, it's going to be like that. That's what they don't want that. And you know, I think, has... you know, but no, no, no. What really makes it ass, though, at least especially for you, is that coin flip. You already know, you already know, you already know, you already know. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. No, but you know what? It's fine because they're going to rig it anyways. I don't care. Coin flip is 600 times. I wasn't going to get that because that's ridiculous. And then, and then Victor Webinyama went in the Rockets number four. He's like, yes, see, you got me. Yes. I love it. Good. That's cool. That's cool. I'm not even mad at you because I just got no plot. I, you know, if this was a couple years ago, I would be like, I want him to fail. And I want, it's fine. I got no plot. Yeah. I'm going to just, I'm going to just, you telling me Texas, freaking one team in Texas got Luka Doncic. Next team got Victor Webinyama. And I got Jalen Green. You don't got no Europeans, dog. You need to start getting these Euro- Europeans. Yes, you do. You got Sangoon. Sangoon. You know, like Sangoon? The power of Sangoon? <laughs> oh, come on, dog. Sangoon. Build around Sangoon, and then you'll you'll be like, you'll be just like them. Yo, man. I wanted the, I wanted the, if I had the third pick or the second pick, I'd have been so fine. Scoot nah. Henderson is a baller. They gave me the fourth pick. They gave me Amen, Amen, He Men, She Men, Thompson. All these. I, I don't want Amen. He can't shoot. I don't want that. I don't want a guy who can't shoot. You he like played. That. That's literally the obliteration of a Like, if you can't shoot, that is not what I want. There are mm. Ben Simmons in the world. There are Russell Westbrook's in the world. I don't want a young like guy he, who like can't he's that bad shoot. At shoot. Like, he's like that bad at shoot. Free throw percentage. Bad. If you can't shoot free throws well, uh-huh. if you shot free throws well, okay. but you can't shoot threes, okay, you know, there's something there. We that, that your, your form can get to. We, we can transition. It's all bad. I don't want all bad. He can't so shoot at all. Shooter. 
So he's a terrible shooter. I have right to now. develop that. I need to give him a shot doctor. I ain't got time for a shot doctor. I ain't got my pick next year because that dumb Russell Westbrook trade that they did that homie me all the years ago for freaking <laughs> I traded for freaking Russell Westbrook who can't shoot for Chris Paul. And I gotta give them my middle schoolers for years. All my picks till they're middle schoolers. The 2024 pick, the 2026 pick. I get all these picks. You know why? Because for some reason James Harden won a stupid Russell Westbrook, and now they're both not on my team. It's the stupidest trade of all time. I hate that. <laughs> Oh, so you don't want to help him out? Because like we said, you don't got no time. Like, what you mean you don't got no time, though? I ain't got no time for that. This, they're, they're, I don't have picks. This was the pick. I need Brooklyn <laughs> to literally combust. That's my pick. I need Brooklyn to combust. Yeah. But they, are you, do you think they're going to combust? No. They got Mikael Bridges. He's but much better than I thought he would be. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's depressing. This whole thing was the... That day was like... That was peak depression too. Like that was like. Let me see. Have I, I ever had that? I I couldn't. When we didn't get Zion, I guess I was far felt the same way. I don't know. The draft has been like I've been like numb to the draft because we fall every year, so it's pretty much wanted, expected. So uh, when wanted Scoot Henderson. So at bad. least, at least. Oh, you could have got Brandon Miller. I think that's. The name, I wanted right? him too. I got the fourth pick. I got Amen. Well, look, look, look. The only, the only hope, and I only have hope. But I know I'm a failure. Yeah. Shout out Giannis. No, I know I'm a failure. Think about okay. LaMelo Ball, Charlotte's number two. They don't need a point guard. Portland's number three. They don't need a point guard. The only thing is if Damian Lillard, if Portland says we want to rebuild and get screwed with Trey Dame, then obviously I'm gaga. But if they say, no, we want to get picks, I will trade you a lot. I'm not going to trade you like Shangoon and Smith and maybe not Green either because I think that loses the point if I trade Green. But I will trade you some picks. Them Brooklyn picks. I'm giving you these Brooklyn picks. You're going to have a stack of these Brooklyn picks. I need – I can't walk away because I don't want James Harden either. Because James Harden, like, he won't come – I don't want you coming back here. That he game coming. seven was too ridiculous. He I don't want that. That game, seven, that game seven was freaking ridiculous. And I ain't here to pay you money to choke with me too. No, you I've coming. already seen – no, 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 no. He gonna show Jalen no, 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 no. Green the the best strip clubs in Houston. That, that man, that man, what that man Jacory said. That man Jacory told me he's like, bro, he got he need a leader. He needs someone to teach him. <laughs> teach him how? Teach him what? To play no. like he want to quit? Do you see how he <laughs> plays? I don't want him being taught that. Do you give a bad surgery? You try to like if you if you if you are if you are in medical school, do you give your bad surgeons? You want them to teach your future surgeons how to do surgery? No, he go kill people. I don't want freaking James Harden teaching my people how to be what? Clutch? And James, how to win in the postseason? James how to be a champion? He seemed like he seemed like that type of dude too. I can see I can definitely him seeing if James Harden come here. Damn, it's gonna be pretty it's gonna be pretty ass. I that plot is some of the worst plot in all of history. The stripper's gonna be happy. Though. I don't want that plot no more. Why? Wow. That James Harden is one of the top 10 greatest offensive players in a regular season in mm-hmm. history. And when he gets to the postseason, he literally, I don't, especially in those late games, like game sixes and sevens, he has the worst three point percentage, minimum 25 attempts total in the history of game seven. What the heck are we talking about right now? You telling me in the most important game of the series, you're the worst shooter of all time? <laughs> well, you're not going. Y'all not going to make the playoffs. Y'all probably not going to make the playoffs. So he he can't teach him playoff stuff. You what know? the it's heck like, am I going to do? <laughs> I need to try to make the playing game because why am I going to be a lottery team? I don't own my pick anymore. So what's the point of being bad like that? You're probably not going. You should probably you should probably you should probably trade for somebody else that isn't James Harden. Obviously, man. look, I need. I have the fourth pick. I have the twentieth pick. I need. To, be aggressive. Don't get Amen Thompson. I don't have time to have him develop when I don't have my pick. That's just going to be a lost season. I need to, you to trade them picks either up to get Scoot or to go and pack to get someone else. I know Jalen Brown. There's been rumors of Jalen Brown. I don't know if that's a thing or not because I don't know if the Celtics paying two people $600 million. Now, if they win a championship, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, Jared, you can affect that. You could definitely affect that. And we're going to get right to you soon, you superstar, <laughs> you. <laughs> but I, 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 we need to package that. We got to be aggressive because I'm not going to sit down and watch these dumb Jalen Green. Jalen Green and Jabari Smith and these – I, I endured three years of Steven Silas doing some of the worst coaching of all time. And all I got was a bunch of caca and boo-boo to fool. I got Jalen Green. I was supposed to get the first pick at Kate Cunningham. Now you get number two. 
Okay, let me. Okay, I get a third pick. Oh, Apollo's coming to us. Oh no, the Orlando's picking Apollo number one. Yeah, it makes he's sense. rookie of the year. Mm-hmm. Okay, well let me. I get Victor. Oh no, no, you dropping number four now. You you getting uh, Amen Thompson the no shot. Next year, one would be number five. Oh no, it's going to Oklahoma City. So shut up. Oh, you know, be a stupid. City. Imagine I get the eighth. Imagine I get like the eighth best, best odds next year, and then I get the and then they get the first pick. I love that. Hold me strong, boy. That yeah. kill me. Oklahoma City get the first pick. <laughs> I would say, yeah, that's tough. That'd be fire. It would be fire. You know what? Actually, wait, wait. Never mind. I forgot. One more. One more. It's actually top four protected. Yeah, I get that first say, pick. I was about to say that it has that should gotta be top four. Cause I like you there's no way you set that show up for no one of protections. See? All right, so then you good then. Good I'm job, Joe sure, Mori. I was pretty sure you'll be like unless unless y'all, you know, drop to five, like the pistons or some shit. But Daryl Mori, that was the worst thing you ever did. That was the worst trade of all time for me. That was a freaking abomination. It wasn't that bad. For me. I said for me. Not oh, okay. For me. That trade's terrible. Russell Westbrook lasted one year. He was terrible for us, too, especially in the end. Yeah, That's one month, though. Yeah, a good month, though. February. Shout out. Shout out mm, February right Westbrook. Before COVID was, hit and destroyed everything, though. That was good times. Before I get to, um, you know, before I get to Jared's fun times, I want to ask y'all. James Harden is one has the, some of the worst plot in history, and that made me think. Give me a list, players, top five players with the worst plot Patrick of Ewing. all time. Yeah, do it in order, boy. We got it, Charles boy. We do this in order, baby. James Harden. Oh, he's in order. order. I haven't, I haven't done the order yet. I would just, I would just throw out people, and then I, maybe I'll, afterwards I'll think about the order. Jared, Jared, Jared are, are you agreeing with these three people he said? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I feel like I need. I feel like it's like two other people I'm missing. That's There's like, people you're definitely missing. A lot of people have terrible plot in this league. That were like, <laughs> but it's like, it's like, like terrible obvious plot. people, Awful, like yeah. obvious pieces. I want one first. There's oh, two that's Greg very Oden. obvious. Greg Oden, he got terrible plot. Does that count? Injury was, plot. We'll say no. Can injury we'll plot count? Okay, injury don't. Okay, injury. O- o- only only if it's like they play, they've had a good healthy sample size and then they uh-huh. have bad unfortunate injuries, but not like he's always injured. So he never got to his peak. Not that type oh, okay. of injury. Not that type of injury. Okay. I'm I'm okay. If I do like, I'm gonna put Patrick Ewing. I will put Patrick Ewing in the top five. I'm gonna put him number five though. I put him number five. I put Patrick Ewing number five because Patrick Ewing, he got the two finals at least, but obviously he ran to the greatest player of all time, and that's unfortunate. I'm gonna list. I'm gonna throw out names. Do you think they should be ahead or below? What do you think? I'm gonna throw out some names. Paul George. How you feeling? What's Paul George at? Ooh. You think Paul George top five? No. LeBron curse destroyed Le- LeBron. Le- okay. What about Demar Derozan? His plot's terrible. That man like <laughs> vanishes. <his computer. laughs> <laughs> 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's that, that man was terrible. That, that man was fifty nine games. They got swept. That's terrible. Lebron's Le- just so funny though. Oh that man got gosh. the one seed and got swept. That's tough. That's some. That's good plot right there, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's number. F- yeah, I'll say I'll give it to him. Yeah. You, you, you put him. So wait, do you, do you think he's higher than Patrick, or do you think he's five? <laughs> I, think, I think he higher Patrick. They got they got a whole name for that shit. Lebronto. They trade them in the next year. They, no, they trade them the next year. They won a championship. Exactly. Yeah. That's pretty bad. That's pretty ass. Oh, oh, I got a good one. I got a good one. Where we got Steve Nash. Uh, that's bad plot. That man got hip checked. <laughs> hip checked, and then people cleared the bench, and then everyone got suspended against San Antonio, and then they lost all the games remaining. <laughs> I love that's good plot. I love, I love that plot. Good for the soul. Was, Zero was, championships and two MVPs. And they don't even respect his MVPs either. <laughs> they say, why not Shaq and Kobe? Tough. I don't know. That's bad plot. His plot terrible. So, Especially Mike D'Antoni led teams usually have some goo goo, trashy, poo poo plot. Can I put Doc Rivers on there too? But as a head coach, he got some bad head coach plot. <laughs> can, I, can I put Doc Rivers? <laughs> he probably has the worst plot of all, no. His his the match. Yeah, <laughs> Doc Rivers a lady. <laughs> Can I put Doc, I love Doc Rivers? <laughs> Doc Rivers blow three two leads like it's his birthday. Three two three one boy. Yeah, I would say he's, lead he's, he's higher. I think Steve I think, Nash or Doc yeah, Rivers. Uh, oh, we could put we could put Doc Rivers on there. No, I'm just curious because you said Doc Rivers. So are you? Well, if you put Doc Rivers, he'd be very high. But let's not put Doc Rivers right now. Steve, Steve Nash, yes, I, he would be number three. I'll put him. I'll put him up there. 
Okay. Now, there's three people that I believe should be in this top five. So, you're going to have to mix and match. I'm going to tell you these three people who I believe should be in this top five, and you can mix and match here. All right. Now, put number three. No, this could be very high. Carl Malone. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> plot. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> plot. That oh, boy yeah. plots. Abysmal. 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 Boy, that boy, I'm telling you, boy, this man one of the greatest chokers I had ever seen in my life, boy. I'd be watching him play in these postseason games. That boy missed free throws. That man got stripped. His life in Utah, that man got stripped from behind. And, oh, wait, wait, Carl, why you hold the ball? Michael Jordan, come down to game your team. He nah. beat you twice. He lost in the first round to uh, Golden State. He was like, the, the, look, look, it took till they were in their mid-30s. Carl Malone got drafted like he was 22, 21. Until his mid-30s to finally make the finals, get eliminated every year of Rockets. Sonics, all these teams. He finally made the finals. He went to the greatest teams of all time. That mm. man plus ten. He a choke artist. He definitely in the top five. Nah, you can I, put him somewhere. I don't know. Patrick you I mean, Patrick you in like he ran into this thing of Michael Jordan every single year. And the years that Michael Jordan retired, he he finally gets to what he's supposed to do and still can't and still can't win shit. Because of because of I two mean, Texan teams. I mean, his, his plot. His plot is definitely bad. Yes, yeah, so he definitely got bad plot. Like, but Patrick Ewing, even though he did have that choke, he did choke against the Pacers for sure. Exactly. Car- Carl Malone is a perennial choker because you have you haven't looked at the Carl Malone catalogs. You looked at those last two finals. The Carl Malone catalog is crazy. That man is a perennial. Su- and he had two. How many times Patrick Ewing won MVP? I don't. Has he ever won MVP? I don't think he's ever won MVP. How many times Carl Malone won MVP? Once. Twice, okay. That man's first team all pro for the whole all NBA for like the whole decade. Mm-hmm. That man's best player besides Hakeem and Jordan in that time, and he can't win nothing because of stupid plot because of Hakeem and Jordan. Well, it's like, it's based, that's, is that the same thing? And like, it's the, it's, it's the, it's, the same it's, thing as like you it's, and it's, it's the same thing, but I think you ain't faced Jordan probably like two times in the playoffs. And then, but like you think about even oh, well, they still lost though. But even when like even after that, they when Ewing injured, they go to the finals, right? Without it, well, even without it, they go I mean, to the yeah. final. The Ewing theory is funny. I mean, yeah, you can. Hey, it's definitely a coin. We could definitely. I mean, you could put both of them. I don't know if you want to take. You could take like Nash or DeRozan out. You know what I'm saying? Because DeRozan is not as high profile as Carl Malone is. I think no, nah, DeRozan too funny. His shit too funny. The fact it's, 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 I think it hurts because the le- I think the, the Rose got to be up there because he, he immediately left and they won the championship, so he's got to be up there. Maybe Steve Nash to me probably will probably take Steve Nash up. And these two definitely got to be on it, regardless of anything. Um, James Harden's his plot's awful, obviously. Um, you know, all, all the years in Houston and his ability to choke. But the number one person, the number one player in all of NBA history with the worst plot is Christopher Emmanuel Paul. That Chris boy plot belong the in the absolute trash can, boy. I see that man plot and I say, "Ew!" Remember we watched that? Sh- remember we watched that show, uh, Maurice? We watched uh we watched uh, was it Rugrats? And then the way that one girl talking about that voice like degrade. She's like, "Ew!" That would have killed my soul. That's that's, that's that's that, that's that man, Chris Paul plot. Chris Paul got two. Let me see. He blew a three-one lead to us, right? Good for him. He had a three-two lead. He, I think he has the record for three-two leads blown. He lost to Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic stunned him in Game Seven. Damn. He get KD. He get injured anyways. They lose. We, we he gets me. Remember he's on my team. He blow a three two lead. Why he blow a three two lead? He get his hamstring hurt. That man. The next year, Chris Paul play. Kevin Durant doesn't play. Steph Curry still drops him off. Steph Curry been dropping off for years. He has two highlights. Steph Curry has multiple highlights of dropping off Chris Paul. Remember Chris Paul did that little like you know Steph Curry did a little behind the back. Chris Paul like <laughs> fell down like this. <laughs> And it, like the, the the trajectory swung because Steph Curry's plot said shoom and Chris Paul's plot said shoom. Chris Paul get injured every single year. Every year he has a shot of winning anything ever, 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 ever. Injury, 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 injury. He said something funny a couple years ago. He finally made the finals. Yeah, he blew a 2-0 lead in the finals, though. But he finally made the finals. <laughs> he said, man, I, I, I'm i addicted to it. I need to get back to it. And people and now people are like, hey, congrats for Chris Paul beating his addiction. He never got back to the finals. <laughs> <laughs> I hate y'all so much. That man, Why? Chris Paul, was in the league for 18 years. That man, been Chris Paul in the league for the first 13 years of his career, never made the conference finals. 13 wow. years. Chris Paul is a first team all pro, all NBA point guard, superstar, point god. That's his nickname. It took him 13 years to make the conference finals. It took him 16 years to make the finals. And he's been in the league all these years, and that's, that's, that's his only accomplishments. That man, plot is terrible. And I'll never, I'll, I, look, look. Chris Paul won a championship. That's like a, that's a Merry Christmas, 
But that man been a lo- that man been in the league as long as people been going to college. Like if you're 18, <laughs> you're going into college, and in that time, that is his accomplishments in the postseason. <laughs> that is abysmal. That man plot is terrible. And when he on your team, look at the biggest failures ever. Lob City Clippers, absolute failure. Right, great team. Absolute failure. Look at the Rockets, Chris Paul and Dame, sorry, and Mike D'Antoni. Absolute <laughs> failure. The Phoenix Suns, Chris Paul, Devin Booker. Absolute failures. And they're failures, too. You saw they just lost by 30 just now, and then the year before they lost by 30 again to these two white boys with last name Itch. At the end of it, Itch, Jokic, <laughs> Doncic. Who they, which Itch they facing next year? They got an Itch. They can't beat the Itch. You see what I'm saying? It's tough. That plot belongs in the trash. And Chris Paul, I'm sorry. I have a shirt. I made sure when the draft lottery happened, I didn't wear a shirt. I had a Chris Paul shirt still because I was like, I can't have that plot going to this because I'm at the 30th pick or something. I can't have that type of plot. I can't even go that low, but I can't, I can't do that. So I made sure not to wear that shirt. I wore a large one. I still ain't worked them. They ain't help me. I still went to number four. Mm-hmm. But what do, y'all, do, what do y'all think? Do you think Chris Paul is the worst plot in the history of all humanity and all of kind? Well, he explained it pretty well. It's a good <laughs> argument. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I would say I would I would definitely give it to him. He's pretty it's pretty ass what he has to go through. Yeah, it's pretty ass. And, you get, and, and, and then he got drafted to the Hornets too, so it's that's really ass too. And then they, they had a good Hornets team. The Hornets had a really good team. He should have won MVP, but Kobe won it because he got on plot. Remember that? There you go. And then th- <laughs> he was up three two against the Spurs. Blew that as well. <laughs> but Chris Paul, you have the worst plot. You know, be the best, the greatest com- combination. Chris Paul is the um. Imagine like the Suns hired Doc Rivers, right? Uh-huh. That plot would be crazy, boy. The, the Suns hired Doc Rivers because Chris Paul's on the team. What? Boy, they, boy, they had the worst lot. They blow three o lead. They the first team all time blow three o lead. So much negative plot on the team, right? Right. It's so mm-hmm. much negativity that only outcome they. It, it's too much, right? It has to be positive. Like they, it, that actually works. You got to put so much negative things, negative plot. Like it, so they get Doc Rivers. Like they get James theory. Harden. They get James Harden. Obviously, Chris Paul gonna still gonna be on the team. Who else got it? Who else? They get DeMar. I mean, Devin Booker got bad plot. Devin Booker got bad plot. They get DeMar Rose. Devin Booker got a terrible plot so far. See? Kevin Durant got a terrible plot besides his, his time with the main character. Besides, like, look at Kevin Durant's career besides the time. You could literally, you could almost put him on his list if you don't count him being with the main character. What has he done? He blew a 3-1 lead, lost in the finals, blew a 3-1 lead, got injured one year, could have made it. He went to Brooklyn. Kyrie had his issues. They had James Harden. Kyrie didn't win anything. Could, he had his foot on the line, big toenail on the line, hit the shot, but didn't matter. And then they got swept the next year. <laughs> then this year, they lost to Jokic. That plot's terrible. Do you, you want that? That's awful. Besides his main character run. Well, I'm saying, what if there's so much negative plot? You get That's so a lot much, of bad plot, though. You get so much negative plot, right? The only outcome, it has to get positive, right? It's just too much. It's just the universe can't contain all that negativity <laughs> on, one, <laughs> on, on one team. It's either that or they're going to blow a 3-0 lead first team ever. Dumbass. That could also happen, too. Or just, they, they, see that. They, just not, or they just not make the playoffs. They'd be like in the middle of purgatory, which is pretty ass. <laughs> And Doc Rivers, shout out to Doc Rivers, man. He he definitely, I, I might say he most overrated coach. I'm not gonna say that because they, I I think that we've adjusted the rating for Doc Rivers. Um, but Doc Rivers having three three one blowns is pretty amazing. Only no coach has ever had more than one. He has three. That's crazy. That man and them three. He had Trace McGrady, one of them teams. He had Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan, another one of them teams. And he had Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, one of them teams against them Denver Nuggets. And I had ten point leads in all three of them games. <laughs> It blew, no every, <laughs> it blew every single one of them. I'm going to ask y'all. I asked the question in the chat. I'm going to ask y'all. This is on Philadelphia. Which game seven loss was the worst? Is the Kawhi Leonard buzzer beater loss, the Ben Simmons um, did not dunk game loss, or this loss to Boston Celtics by like 60 points? Uh, Which one is the worst out of the game it? seven, that, that Atlanta one? Yeah, it was Atlanta. That's when Ben Simmons, like he had Trey Young. He said, nope. Passed the ball right away <laughs> and fumbled everything. <laughs> no, I think, I think it's the Ben Simmons one. I, I feel like once you saw that, that was like, like you look at the process and that shit just like you you defeated. Like, damn, this is all all this waiting we did for nothing and we got defeated. I think the Ben Simmons one is probably the worst. The Kawhi Leonard one was like game winners. It's a game winner, but hey, it was like it could have went in. It could obviously went in, but it could went out. A lot of things it could, things happen, but that but that Ben Simmons one. That one stuck. That one hurt. That's one of those losses. Like you always tell me, you had one of them losses. That's his ass, and you never, you know, you know, you're never gonna win it after that. That's one of them fucking losses. 
This nigga has been Simmons since six ten. Six ten nigga. You can't dunk over him? Yeah, that's ass. That's ass. That this one's pretty Simmons. ass too. I actually think the Kawhi one is probably the last one. If I have to rank it free Ben Simmons, this one, and then Kawhi Leonard probably the last one. A lot of Ben Simmons took a picture of the Celtics blowing him out to be like, look at look at you guy. Ben Simmons, you're part of these losses, boy. Jerry, what you think? What do you think? Which one's the worst out of the three? <laughs> Um, I would put I would agree with the Kawhi Leonard one being last. Uh, I think getting blown out might be <laughs> might be the worst for me. That nine it's point just, game from James Harden and a fifteen point game from Joel Embiid. Yeah, I mean, what can you expect from Joel Embiid? But you know, oh yeah, Rod- get out, <laughs> get on. How he first team on NBA? Get, get out. on his ass. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We're going to get to you, Jerry, because we're going to let you shine. This is this is the moment. This is your peak. See, I'm down bad. And Maurice, you kind of up and down, but Jared, you are. Because, oh, okay. you know, you, yeah. you had a good season, but you had a bad loss. But, Jared, we're we going to, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, let, me, let me add one more thing to that, though. Like, the thing I about, because we already know Doc Rivers, he don't make in-game adjustments. Who said that? I think Josh Smith, the, the nigga who said that shit. He don't make no in-game adjustments. So, like, I feel like the reason why I really feel like even more the Ben Simmons shit is, because, like, we already know Doc Rivers don't make in-game in, in adjustments, so they're already going to blow the lead. But, like, the Ben Simmons thing, it's really nothing to make in-game adjustments with that. Like, he could have easily just dunked that ball. You, if The coach don't got to tell you. Like, there's no, like, you don't got to grab people in the huddle, right, to figure out, oh, you should dunk that ball. You know what I mean? That's the reason why I yeah. really think that's just ass. That's, like, the definitely the worst one. No, the point, the sad thing is, though, is, like, because obviously you knew that was the last time that iteration of the Sixers would succeed. And then they got James Harden. And then now they just lost game seven. Now that's the last time I know that iteration of the 76ers won't succeed. Damn. Because this was like you face the Heat in the next round. And the Heat are a good team. But that's definitely the most realistic shot of you making the NBA Finals. I wanted that Jokic versus Embiid. But Embiid's still ducking because he had an awful game seven as well. <laughs> um, Jared, Joel Embiid has been eliminated. And Joel Embiid scored 15 points Damn. in Game 7 and Damn. played terrible. Mm-hmm. Al Horford blocked his shot. I said, wowzers. I said, wowzers. Damn. Joel Embiid looked absolutely terrible. And Joel Embiid is a 30-year-old man. 30? And he has n- never been to the conference finals before. He is injury prone. He's always injured in the playoffs every time. It's around the same time, too. Late <laughs> April. Same time. <laughs> He's always having injuries getting carried into the semifinals every time. Every Orbital season. bone breaks, LCL sprains, mm-hmm. something going to happen to that boy. And he always losing. He has been to three game sevens. He's 0-3. Damn. Damn. He on his way. He, he, he's on his way to make that list, though. Yeah. <laughs> he, he on his way to make that list. He's climbing up pretty fast. He climbed up that hill. Damn. And Joel Embiid with his injury history, entering his 30s, is very troublesome because that means that he's likely not going to have a long NBA career, Mm -hmm. meaning that his cap is very, very strong right now. Jared (laughs) Takyo-ish, Nikola Jokic, boy. Tell me why Nikola Jokic clears to Olympia. Yeah, damn. (laughs) I mean, (laughs) I wish the MVP counted uh, postseason. I don't. That'd be crazy. Because really? I would take with my 2018 MVP. <laughs> I would have taken it. I would have taken that MVP. So I'm fine, perfectly fine keeping that. Yeah, I mean, Jokic is averaging, was it a 34 triple double, 34 point triple double in the playoffs? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He just, it's ridiculous. Um, I think he's a better player. Uh, it is close. Joel Embiid is very good. Um, they're just they're different champ. people. I don't know. This recency bias is like ass, though. Oh, might, <laughs> not, this I don't know. Jokic might clear this, like, because I even they were saying like Jokic, like before the thing was like, you know, Joel B was a two way player, right? He's like he he can give you good offense and a little bit of defense, but like it's not like Jokic. They were saying like Jokic like has de- underrated defense, you know. I think that's what I said in the last bro- broadcast. So it's not like he like Jokic is that bad at def- defending defending the paint or defending people. Obviously, if he go against, he goes against a guard, yeah, it's it's it's, yeah. it's pretty hard. But that's any that's almost any big at this point. I think I think when it comes to like I mean obviously Embiid clears Jokic in defense. Embiid is a pretty good defender. Is yeah. a, you know. And Jokic can have easily be, you know, very he can, he can slouch for sure on defense. Yeah, I've seen Jokic have some bad defensive plays. But Jokic yeah. is such an elite offensive talent 
to the point where it's like, because Joel Embiid's just a great scorer, but Joel Embiid has trouble with double teams. Joel Embiid is um, obviously Al Horford get that boy the business, and he he kind of settles a lot. Like Marcus Smart guarding him, like bro, destroy Marcus Smart, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you you have to like take advantage of these mismatches. Jokic does that more often. Jokic, there's there's something going around saying Jokic is a top five offensive player of all time, and at this point That's... with his recency bias, you're creeping up into that. With the bias, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie to you. That, that shot he made over AD was incredible. I was like, that's crazy. Either. Oh, at the buzzer? Oh, yeah, God. I was like, oh, yeah, he's on, he's on one today. Yeah. But even without recency bias, that's not even that crazy. Because Jokic, the center, point center, able to make these amazing passes. The Denver Nuggets offense has one of the best offenses ever. Because of the fact that Jokic control the offense so well through the post, make these great, you know, these guys cut to the basket, makes these posts where he passes it to these three point shooters. That is so freaking valuable. <laughs> and then he's great in the paint and he can shoot. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, really, your shoe is so safe. You see how the two best centers in the league, they can shoot. Y'all should get on that. Um, Jokic had, what was the stat line? Like 34, 21, and 14, something like that? Something like that. Something like that, yeah. So a 30, 20, 10 game? Yeah. Two consecutive 30-20-10 plus games. Yeah. Gosh! They also, they also <laughs> built a really good team around him, too. Like, they're trying like, you guys in transition is, like, ridiculous. You, can, you can't really stop anybody of them. Can't really stop them in transition at all. But with all that being said, the Lakers creeped in and almost took it from your heart. They did. They, the Lakers yeah, creeped Nuggets up on you. gave up <laughs> on any kind of defense. God, it's... Yeah, and, and they put a drop forty. They cut, it, cut it to three. Okay. I know he got nervous. That I, Austin Reeves yeah. three. Oh, I yeah. believe to you. I actually cut. I cut the game off for three minutes left. I was like, I, the Nuggets will win this shit. I hey, Jared, this. I told you, the main mm-hmm. character boy. You trying to make? Hey, you know what I'm saying? We, you're here. You gotta be the main <laughs> character to get to where you want to go. Hey, we're here, right? These yeah. look. The Lakers. You have been to two conference finals that I can recall. Besides this one, Lakers. Lakers. Kobe, LeBron, <laughs> and yeah. he lost both times Damn. in six mm-hmm. or five and six. This is a, but you got the upper hand now. You got home court now, baby, yeah. right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, looking into this series, obviously, you know, I said Jokic had a lot to prove because Jokic had to go into his postseason play well. He's playing outstanding. He, you know, Minnesota get them out the way. They're annoying. You face um, the Suns. You sun them. They have no plot. You're facing plot now. Because you won game one, but a hey, game one ain't nothing. You're supposed to win game one. You're supposed to win game two. You feel me? They try to take game two. Game two of the game they want, right? So don't F around and lose game two because if you lose game two, I don't know if you win any of the Laker games in L.A. You know what I'm saying? The Lakers are undefeated at home, and so are you. So just follow the script <laughs> yeah. and win your games. Simple as that. Seven-game series, you're saying? But in a game seven, though? And when Scott Foster get that, the Celtics already advanced. Did Scott Foster get that freaking game? Why he always getting game sevens? Right? Is he the best ref? Like, do the does NBA the NBA must think that he like they the best ref, like ever? Bro, Warriors and Kings. I was like, who's the ref? Game okay, Scott Foster. Of course, it's Scott Foster game seven. But we gotta get. We need to advance. We need the right team to advance. So look, look Jared. Mm-hmm. If if Scott Foster ref in that game seven, because you would expect you get some home cooking. Right, that's what I thought in my game seven. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They they want Rockets LeBron, they want the Warriors LeBron. I thought I guess I'm cooking. It's some of the most egregious calls of all time, and it's in my home. What the heck was the point when all these games? I'm supposed to get home cooking in game seven. That's the point. You supposed to give me the calls. <laughs> Tough. So, Jerry, you're gonna be in Denver. You have an advantage too. You have the mile high, so you know you have the you can tire them out. These people are old. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, though, Scott Foster gonna say, wait, 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 slow this game down. Whistle. Boy, what's the, you go, slow it down. LeBron, get to that free throw line. <laughs> Anthony Davis, you ain't got enough free throws. Blow whistle. And there you go. You're going to wonder, like, because I told you how plot where you're going to wonder, like, your player's going to start playing bad. Jamal Murray going to start playing bad. Like, dang, Jamal, like, what happened? Like, game six, he would have played well. In game seven, he's shooting two for 13. Like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Then Jokic kind of getting Anthony Davis hitting all these shots. Austin, it'll be the role players, too. Hachimura, Hachimura and Reeves. It's going to be a big d game, and you're going to be you're gonna be sweating. You're going to be down, like, six. You're going to be like, bro, what's going on? These refs, they're rigging. They just want Celtics Lakers. It's rigged. You're going to be pissed, right? And then Jokic gonna get a little close, make it look close, and then boy LeBron gonna get to LeBron gonna, gonna drive to the paint, and he's not gonna be no foul though. Ain't gonna be no foul. Be calling it though. That whistle gonna blow loud. Gonna blow so loud. Everybody never hear that whistle. It's gonna oh blow loud, God. right? 
that, that boy LeBron hit them free throws too. Cause he got better at free throw shooting from, from what I've seen. Cause he usually be missing them. He's gonna make these two free throws. He's gonna be down for it. John Murray gonna throw up a prayer. He's gonna miss. And you're gonna be just like me and Maurice. Sick. Cause we're sick. Maurice not as much more me. Sick. Jared, beat these boys in six games. You hear me? Six games. Beat these boys. You can do it. You the one seed. I said I don't complicate nothing. He the one seed. Get to the finals. Simple as that. There ain't no KD Warriors out here. That's what I had to go through. <laughs> no, you ain't got to go through. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No BS. Get to the finals. Face the Celtics. Yeah. Now, will it be the most watched finals? You can do it in six, you believe? Yeah. He's confident. I like that. That's, that's what, you know, I remember yesterday, Mauricio, you know, he was first, but he was confident too. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, uh, I said man, hey, Mauricio, you chilling? He's like, man, I'm chilling. That means I'm chilling in the third time when they got the first. Week. I'm chilling. I, I was like, I feel you. He that's was good in Vegas, dog. He, he knew what's up. That's why he went to Vegas. You should, you should go to Vegas next time. May I my help. J- Jared, when is Victor Wembanyama going to pass Jokic? Go <laughs> 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 year two. Conference final. <laughs> That would, be, that would be pretty cool. Damn. Webanyama versus Jokic, and I get to sit home with Jalen Green. Tough. Bro, you got Sangu. <laughs> <laughs> Jalen, he need to be a baller, but Jalen, he got to be a baller. Ime Udoka, good coach. <laughs> I need him to get these boys in shape. This is like a drill. We got, we need to put in. We, we need to put them in like a. This is like we we in the army. Get in mm. shape. Defend. <laughs> Steven Silas, he was like, they don't play defense. They don't defend. It was it sounded fake. That's your passion. He's like, they don't like, bro. No one's, no one respects. Steve besides you, a good man. He's just they don't respect you in this rocker room. You know what I'm they saying? He, and you didn't. And they said, I don't run plays for Jabari Smith. I'm like, Jabari Smith, your third fucking pick. What the heck? What are you talking about? That don't make no freaking sense. He, he didn't like that shit. That was ridiculous. But you was excited to get uh, Steven Silas. I remember because that. I thought I thought he'd be with James Harden, not 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 Jalen Green and Kemp oh, Porter. Damn. I remember you said they got Thanks, the most Jay- efficient offense ever. I remember, I remember that. Because I got because I was like I do with James Harden, not, not with Jalen Green. But, I got no but I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on to you too. Me? The Knicks lost. The Knicks. <laughs> we haven't talked about I the Knicks New- loss yet. No, not at all. That's shit crazy. Damn, it should be like, like it was wild. <laughs> that should be. I, know, like I feel years. it. I know, but the game one ain't start. It was about to start. By the time this video gets uploaded, it would have started. But. I gotta talk about the Knicks, man. You know, like we and you talked about it, but we ain't talking about it to the world. That's why. Now I understand. You need to start recording these uh these phone calls. That's what you need to start doing. <laughs> How you feeling, man? You run New York? How you feeling? Um good, I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm running I'm running back home. I lost to Jimmy Buckets and uh and undrafted players. You know, it is what it is. And we got we got Julius Randle. The greatest, the greatest playoff uh, performer of all time. I'm gonna tell you something, and you know, like there's moments in time. There's always a moment in time where you sit back and you, because you watch, you know, your team ends, and then you know you have to wait like four or five months to watch them play again. But when your team ends, you're gonna have high emotions. You're gonna, you know, you may overreact, but this is not an overreaction. You know, because sometimes I, you have to be rational. I overreact. I knew he was gonna lose. I say, I just say <laughs> he in six though. I said he in six. Once I saw them won that game two, and how like. And once I saw one, one or it was a game two, or game one, they won. Actually, game one. It was game two. I mean, game one, the, the Heat one, yeah. Yeah. Once I saw game one, game one, I was like, yeah, it's Heat in six. I felt it. And they did. Good job. RJ Barrett, he said he didn't like that criticism that I think Stephen A. Smith was giving him. He did? I didn't even know he responded to it. That's crazy. He shot one for 10. In all the minutes of play, he, he made one field goal. One field goal? Yeah, like, you didn't like that. RJ Barrett been in the league since 2019. If you were, if you entered college 2019, mm-hmm. you're graduating now. That's true. Oh, that's why you want to know Almond Thompson. Now I get it now. Ah, oh, I get it. And he still isn't that guy. Not. At this point, he's never going to be. Probably not. RJ Barrett shot. He made one field goal. That's freaking ridiculous. RJ Barrett, you need criticism because there's no way that you did that in that game six. Where, where they put all they did not trade Donovan Mitchell for you, and then you go out and shoot one for ten. I love that. And we pay him money too. Remember that, you know, because you him. believed in him. Extend, and he, you know, he's the first. He's the first rookie the Knicks have extended like twenty years, which is not right. Never extended another rookie since then. That's crazy. Twenty. And he years. hasn't done nothing, and that meant all he did to get that was have some of the worst play I've ever seen in twenty twenty one in that playoff series as well. 
And then I get to my man, Julius Randle. You love Julius Randle. Julius Randle in the postseason is literally the worst player in NBA history. The best player in NBA history. If you watch Julius Randle play, you want to claw your eyes out. (laughs) I mean, goodness gracious. That 2021 series will go down in infamy as the worst basketball I'd ever seen. That man went the same way, nah, shot the should, same nah, this, shot, I think and missed the worse. same time. This one worse because he had help. Before it was like he didn't have help, so he had to take all these dumb shots. Nah, but see, now nah, this one's worse because he had help and he was just still taking dumb ass shots. I mean, yeah, it's terrible this year as well. But the problem with Julius Randle too, and here's the biggest problem with Julius Randle. I'm listening. I mean, I'm listening. What else does he do if he's not making shots? What else does he do? He slouches. Um, he complains <laughs> to the refs, um, and he throws hissy fits when he don't get foul calls. Um, he takes inefficient shots. You know, the, all those things. Yeah, pr- pretty much all those things. Jason Tatum shot started 0 for 11 in game six, and they were in the game because he's playing great defense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What <laughs> the heck? When you shoot this ridiculous, abysmal shooting percentage that he shoots, Mm. Are you a good passer? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Are you a good defender? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Do you have effort and rebounds? Do you give effort and rebounds? He, he is a good rebounder. I'll give him that when he wants when he want to be. So it's like half effort, no, but rebound when he want to be. <laughs> when he <laughs> when he want to be, he he actually is a good rebounder. I'll, I'll give him that. Julius Randall is a disgrace. Damn, <laughs> that is off. I wanted the Knicks. In the conference finals, it would have taken a decent Julius Randle performance to get that to happen. Probably, yeah. And he played like absolute poo poo cheese. There's no effort. Because freaking ridiculous. And every time he fails, he puts his head down. He slouches. Bad body language. He got benched. And when he got benched, he started. He had to throw a little hissy fit when he got benched. I said, Julius, this is the postseason. I don't know what you're trying to prove, but you're having one of the worst shooting days of all time. You need to stop, shut up, and continue. Your team <laughs> needs to win the game. This is his team. That's what he's thinking. This is his team. You remember that? He did not. He the number one option. He was Randall number sixteen option. He was Randall literally. He was Randall. I don't even know if he could be a third option on a good team on a championship team. Like I like because you're not gonna win championship because he's still gonna get the ball and do his ridiculousness. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not, like no. he gets. He don't like, He's not gonna buy into. He's not gonna buy into that team. Cause like he's not like role. he every shot he take the most stupidest shot ever to me and I'm like bro why are you taking these dumb shots. Like, ain't you, like, you big, like, you strong. Like, don't you, like, get to the paint and, like, attack mm-hmm. the paint. He's taking all these ridiculous threes and mid-range jumpers like and that. fadeaways. And I'm like, well, who are you? Kobe. Are you not? <laughs> Kobe. He closed his eyes and shit when he shoot the two. Who can I try to do his Randall for? <laughs> no I try to do his Randall for somebody in Shanghai? I would. I'd be like, give me, be like give Dwight me. Howard. Dwight. Yeah, I was like, give me back Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard what... think everybody should come to Shanghai. At least I, I mean, know Taiwan. From. Taiwan, that's where he's from, yeah. That boy Dwight Howard called out everybody in time. That man said, he, Julius Randle, come on over here. Ben Simmons, come on over here. James Harden, come on over here. He even called out KD, too. That boy called out KD. That's hilarious. KD did play bad in that game six, though. That boy played boo-boo cheese. I'm, I'm going to ask y'all, because I told you this. We're going to have some conversations, because a lot of y'all people in this postseason going to fail. And they failed, boy. They did. And some of these boys, they they, they failed, boy. <laughs> they, 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 Giannis, like, there is no failure. They failed. <laughs> They failed. I like your Giannis voice. They Who failed the worst? The Who worst? had the worst failure? Now I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you. Oh, okay. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Because you gotta get the camera. Fine. Right. Ke- Kevin Durant went to a team again. He team hopping. Went to Phoenix. Had all these bad shooting days against Denver. And in Game Six, boy, he was trash. Mm. And Kevin Durant, ever since he left Golden State, last year got swept. And this year that boy get out against Yo Jokic and them boys punked that boy in that game six. And now to this day, all we thinking is, oh, Steph Curry got a ring without you before and after. Mm. What have you done? That boy Giannis obviously lost to Jimmy Butler. But with the context, he didn't miss one and a half games. Okay. He looked content. He wanted to miss one and a half games. But still terrible when AC lost. James Harden had a chance to write his name into history and get to that conference finals and <laughs> finally have a shot to really make it a championship. And he scored nine points. That man shot in, the, in those two, bad, two great games. He had 40 points plus. 
and all the other five games he shot, his field goal percentage was twenty five percent. He still and he won a four year deal too. Four year deal after this, give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> give it to him. Is it is it is it Devin Booker and Chris Paul and that Suns team? And the fact and the matter is that they can never ever succeed ever again after that finals berth because the fact every time they face these white boys in the second round, these white boys treat them like they they children. <laughs> Is it is it Doc Rivers and his inability to get to conference finals with um Philadelphia consistently blowing these three two leads? <laughs> is it is it is it Joel Embiid the only MVP in NBA history to never make it to a conference conference finals to this day? Mm-hmm. These failures, what I can't say Steph Curry's failure. Steph Curry, you did fail, okay, but you got plot. You won last year, and they said you lost LeBron. Them Lakers fans were on you. Them Lakers fans are yes. Yes, we beat him. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, the Lakers fans were very toxic. That was hilarious to watch, and that dog was wrong. But Anybody else? that's a failure. Grizzlies. Is it, is it, is it? Oh, oh, or it could be, Um, was it, it's a parade inside my city, yeah. And John Morant yeah. and uh, Dylan Brooks. And Dylan Brooks saying, I, I poke bears. I don't respect until he dropped 40. <laughs> and then LeBron dropped 20, 20 on them. So it was essentially 40. And the Grizzlies <laughs> losing six games. And then John Morant get caught with a gun, so he might get suspended next year. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> Damn, John. John Wick. Is, is it is it Kawhi Leonard with his mysterious torn MCL that came out of nowhere? Paul George getting injured right before the season. I mean, and then obviously he played the first two games, play amazing, and then just vanished. Don't play ever again. Why can't they just fail normally? Like why can't they have normal failure? Why gotta be like like why gotta be just like like this terrible? Like you just be killing fan bases like this, man. Damn, that one has oh, to be demoralizing too, yeah. Oh, what about? Oh, we could do one in the plane. What about Toronto miss on the free throws because DeMar DeRozan's uh, girl, oh or his, his daughter? Yeah. Ah, every time they miss, like they set a record for free throws missed in that game in the playing game because of the fact that some girl was screaming at them every time they missed a free throw. I love failure, boy. Oh, failure good for gosh. the soul. So who failed the worst? So I'm gonna, I'll give you the names. So just I'm gonna give you the names to make it simple. So is it Giannis? Is it Kawhi and his Clippers? Is it the whole Phoenix? Is it Kevin Durant's legacy? Is it Chris Paul and Devin Booker's legacy? Doc Rivers' legacy? Joel Embiid's legacy? James Harden's legacy? Who got the biggest poo poo on? Because the legacies went downhill. <laughs> uh, I think Giannis' legacy not that bad from his failure. I think his legacy don't I, take a hit I that think bad. It's, from the it's, it's the 76ers to me. Somebody yeah, in that 76ers wonders that because they was up. And it's like they this was they, this was a shot too, like I fully I I I mean I knew Doc was gonna choke, but I had like a little glimpse of hope. <laughs> I was like, like all you gotta do is just win, just win one more, and it's possible, right? It's possible. They sat because the reason why they won one of those, I think the last game before when they came back it was three two. I think the reason why they won game five, but I'm mistaken. Yeah, game five. You be oh, I mean they were sagging off him. They were sagging. Al yeah. Hofer wasn't like. Pick, picking up off these like picking pops and he was just shooting these you know mid range shots and I was like okay maybe they keep doing that shit but obviously they adjusted so I really I think it's definitely Joel and B shit because this is they shot they they could they could have definitely beat the 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 Celtics without a doubt in my mind they it had the talent the for it everything everything they needed for it they just you know but when they lost Game Six like they were like blowing the league Jason Tatum just like went off all just out of nowhere because plot has to kick in sometime right <laughs> and they're like um they, you know they started like walking like James and Joel even the game still happening like we're still you're still in it. they started walking they already accepted a loss like when it's like two minutes a minute and a half remaining I'm like oh no damn that's gonna set up for a good Game Seven plot buster. No, your plot's gonna be falling in, into the trash can because I know when you lose like that oh some oh y'all gonna be boo boo in Game Seven and they were. They were terrible. PJ Tucker had more points than James Harden. It's pretty ass. I, the reason, another reason too, I feel like this is one of those losses. Now you really got to think about the 76ers. Like, where do you go from here? Like, is look, it, look, is it that lost, time to like... Their loss is 10 years to the day from when they hired Sam Hinkie to start the process. Oh, really? To the day? Wow. That that means that... that you see you see how... You know how they, when they write them scripts, they, they be killing them too. They, they, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let me, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's remember that day for next time. Let's write that shit down for next... For ten years later, okay, that's that's not too bad. Oh my gosh, that's some plot. Damn, they oh my gosh, you tell me real. they hired that. That's how you know you. That's you know like that's how you know you write it years in advance. You know, what I'm saying we you know we got the story finished. We what you got to let the story play out. You know mm. what I'm saying? They hire Sam Hinkie. He goes on an all time tanking spree. They hire they get Joel Embiid. 
He's nicknamed the process. His nickname literally is the process. He is the best player to come out of that whole type, a whole entire process thing. And of all the players they drafted, the Ben Simmons, the Markel Fultz, or the the Nerlens Noels, the um, Jaleel Okafors, all the players they they drafted. Joel Embiid is the only one that materialized into a true MVP superstar player, right? They missed on Jason Tatum like crazy. One of the worst misses you can ever have. Definitely. They, they, they get Joel Embiid. He becomes a really good player, turns into an MVP level player, consistently gets hold by Jokic in the MVP voting. <laughs> but he's a really good player. But it turns out that he has no plot whatsoever as well. So all those historically bad tanking seasons all really meticulated in getting this guy, Joel Embiid. And Joel Embiid, at the age of 30, has still not reached the conference finals. All right, and then 10 years to the day, they have one of their worst losses in a game seven with their process, their guy, their MVP. The guy, he finally was MVP. Ten years later, he find that guy that you drafted to be the process. He finally gets the MVP award. He finally has his best shot of ever getting to the finals to win the championship. He finally has all these things. He has an MVP level player or used to be in James Harden. He has everything for him. His team's deep. And he chokes. I guess you're not supposed to tank, guys. I tried it and I failed miserably. They tried it and they failed miserably. Hey, don't tank. Just have plot. That's all it is. <laughs> fine, Just find a way. Find the script writers. Get some plot. Do what Joe Namath did. Sell a song. You can do that too. Don't yeah. Do that. <laughs> Try that one. That, that will help. Because you get one. At least you get one. <laughs> you get one. You get one. They can't take it away from you. They can't. They can't take that shit away from you. The rest of the fans gonna be. They gonna be here for the next fifty years, but hey, they can't take that one. So, Jared, do you think the Nuggets gonna win the NBA championship? Yeah, I think so. That's good bias. I like that. I do. Recently, yeah. you think the Nuggets could <laughs> yeah. win the NBA championship? <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. I mean, you hope you go, go against the go. Hopefully, now that he's not gonna make. I mean, he gonna make it to the finals. Nah, that's that'd fair. be boring. Yeah. We don't want to watch that. They, no one watch that. They no one. They went Lakers Celtics. Lakers, oh my gosh! Or, or Nuggets. Celtics. Oh my! Oh no, they don't care about that. People they care about Lakers. Lakers so. Oh, they don't. Oh my about gosh! The second option. <laughs> they, they, they both have no seventeen rings. The they both got seventeen rings. Oh my gosh! Oh the script. Oh my god! I tell you that game seven was how fast they're going. I'm telling you, that they want going, what they yeah. want. Yeah, they but want what 20, they want. Put Tony Brothers in there too. Oh, uh, I, I, I would definitely. I would record that shit. Actually, I will record that so I can play it back later. Jared, if you lose this series, I want you to know that forever you can never tell me plot's incorrect. Like, everything I tell you, <laughs> what I'm telling you right now, because sometimes people be thinking, I bet people think I'm crazy, right? And I'm telling them about, okay, this is happening, this is happening because of plot. You're like, Jesse, no, but, like, look at what I have told you. Look at what I've said to you. How many times am I wrong about this stuff? It's very, very rare. <laughs> I told you, who would I told you going to face Warriors, Kings, who won't be in that game seven? I didn't, that's weeks before it happened. Who going, who was in the game? Scott Foster. You see what I'm saying? Scott. I'm telling you, I told you, y'all two, you and Zach gonna face the main characters. Y'all both facing them. Right? He faced one of Step, you face one of LeBron. You ain't escaping it. You facing one of them. You see what I'm saying? Like everything I say, whether it's the Super Bowl, whether it's the NBA Finals, whether this freaking, like I said a week ago, watch them do the coin flip and the third pick really get the first pick. You see what I'm saying? I said it, and you know what happened? What happened? With odds that 86% chance that wasn't supposed to happen, and it did. You know why? Because plot. You tell me, Webin Web Yam got this freaking Tony Parker jersey at nine years old, and it. <laughs> <laughs> they. They write the they script. They don't even out. do the thing no more. They don't. They don't even show you the. They don't even show you when they pick up the cards anymore. No, they don't show you that. Yeah, they don't do that. Yeah, they didn't do that live at all. Oh, that's cheating. They they definitely are cheating. They don't they, even show you that no more. You tell me the Hornets and the Trail. All these teams they had all these teams with 12 percent chance, right? All these teams who never won anything finally get a shot to get a great player. Go to the Spurs. <laughs> I'm telling you, look. look and y'all gonna get me a little, and somebody, you know, FBI gonna come for me, I'm saying all these secrets. I'm telling you right now, all this plot, I see it, and when you realize, and if you're the viewer, watch me, if you're the viewer, especially if you're getting into sports, you're early into sports, when you realize that this is all plot, you can feel more at calm and more at ease because you know, oh, I have no plot, okay. So I'm gonna lose, or I'm not gonna get this pick, or I'm not gonna be that good, or I'm gonna choke in this game. If you're a 76ers fan, you definitely didn't expect to win game seven. Don't watch game seven. What do you think is gonna happen with James Harden, Joel Embiid? In Boston. You know, what are we talking about? I'm losing. We're going to lose, and they're going to choke. We're going to get destroyed. I went, I watched the game. I went to go somewhere. I went to the bathroom, came back out there down 38. I'm like, what's wrong with you? There was a four-point <laughs> game. Nah. 
<laughs> so, oh my gosh. So that's the and if you have a favorite player and he has no plot, abandon ship straight up. Especially if he's young. If you draw an B fan, it's done. It looks like <laughs> Jokic, I don't know his plot yet. You know, he ain't when he ain't make the finals yet. So Jared, you keep trucking on. But hey, Maurice. I, I don't think Julius Randle's favorite player, but he's probably in the trash can. He already knew what he He doesn't play the trash can. Hey, man, it's freaking terrible. He ain't, no, he ain't my favorite player. Ain't is Jalen no Brunson? Hell no. Jalen yeah, Brunson a baller. Hell no. You think I'm going to get his jersey so he can be, start being trash? No. <laughs> I'm going to waste my money. I ain't doing that shit. I ain't getting no one like, nigga's jersey no more. They so I, I got I got Jamal Adams jersey gone, nigga. I got Darrell Reeves gone. I got Porzingis tough. jersey gone. <laughs> Wait, I, ain't, <laughs> I ain't get no more jerseys. Ain't nobody about hey, no, nobody. I ain't get no autographs. No favorite fans. My favorite my favorite <laughs> fan gonna be the pop sir, the pop pops, popcorn guy. That's 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 all I'm gonna be a fan of. That man, that man, you get the popcorn guy, the popcorn guy, give it to um, the teammate, the he team, and they start po- poison. They poison. They choke it. They poison. He's on the they all- <laughs> I'm like, damn. And then you you had it out for me this whole time. Damn, that's tough. Nah, no, ain't nobody well, on my team. When Maurice learned his lesson, um, I guess my favorite player is Jalen Green. I'm supposed to be weapon Yammer. You Henderson. still ain't talking about Sangoon. <laughs> you ain't never gonna talk about Sangoon. Man, Sangoon, Sangoon was a really good player, but he's not gonna be. You think he'll be Jokic? He's gonna be the MVP. They 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 did a whole like Pokemon like evolution. Jokic is Charizard. Then you got Festival. Sabonis is uh, <laughs> is uh, oh shit, I can't remember the second evolution of that nigga. And then it you got the, Charmin or something. I forgot. I mean, no, that's the first evolution. Charmillion, yeah. And then the first the first evolution is Charmander. So there you go. You gonna have so, the first evolution of Yokish. What, well, Jared? I'll tell you. You beat that main character, buddy. Shout out to all my people with the bad plot because we always talk about the good plot like Michael Jordan and Kobe and LeBron. Shout out to my Chris Pauls <laughs> <laughs> and my James Hardens and my Patrick Ewing, Carl Malone. Shout- no, 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 I'm not shouting Carl Malone. Um, don't, don't. Uh, I'm not shouting Carl Malone. But um, my, um, who else? Who else is that? DeMar DeRozan or LeBron. That's yeah. my boy. LeBron. And Joel Embiid, you're creeping up there, baby. Give yeah, me one know. more conference. Give me one more conference semifinals <laughs> choke, and we'll get you on that list, baby. <laughs> You'll be 31, and you, when you get injured, April 28th, 2024. <laughs> In game three <laughs> of the first round, we're right back at it, baby. Let's get it, Joel. And uh, shout out to Jokic. He was second team All NBA, but it turns out he's the best center of all. Now nah, of all time, I'm crazy. Best center in the league, not Jared Chilla. Best center in the league. And then, uh, <laughs> but if he won a championship, I said he might be the best center. That's not the historic. No, not the historical centers. Like the best center that's not one of the historical ones, like the Shaq and the Keem, the Kareem. And this. He might be six, five. My five or six. Yeah, we've had this conversation before. Uh, I want to know if it's changed. Uh, where do you rank Jokic all time? <laughs> yeah, let's get it because he, 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 he conference finals killing. It. I, I like yeah. it. Yeah, that was a couple months ago when we was like, oh, what he's going to do? Yeah. Look at him now. Huh? Look at that. Um, I wish I remember where I ranked him before. No, you had him again. You had him ahead of Will Chamberlain. Wait, are, you, are we talking about in centers or just all like out of everybody? Oh, you're talking about all everybody. time. Everybody. Oh, I- oh, he top. Well, I thought you top 30 still. He went championship. He'd be top, like he'd be like twenty. What did you? Didn't you? Is he had a Giannis I, now? I, I want to say, didn't you make Giannis? I remember saying you said Giannis was like top thirty before. I mean, Giannis, is, Giannis right now is ahead of Jokic, but like they can switch because at that point they had the same credentials. But yeah. then Jokic, like, but Giannis had like an all time terrible choke in that first round. Oh, that, that hurts like, you. That, 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 that puts you down. Damn. Yeah, that dents him. So you know what I'm saying. I, I probably put Jokic ahead of Giannis, which is crazy. Your second round pick, great second round pick of all time. Congratulations! I need that type of luck this draft. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, but um, yeah, so I probably put him like twenty. What about you, Maurice? You put him 20? 20, 15? Yeah, I put him twenty. Twenty. I put him ahead Steve Nash. Like uh, Steve Nash, like twenty. I'm putting him as like people like that. I never, I never made a top twenty list. I got a top ten list. Well, fuck, a top twenty. I feel like what, twenty-five. What is your top 10? 25 what is that or something. Uh, what, is your, what's your, what is your top 10? Give me a second. I got to look forward. That man got his notes. I love that <laughs> no, man. No, 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 just in case someone tell me something. Jared, Jared, you got a top 10? A top 10? You you can go from one to, and then you can just keep going and tell you like you don't know. Like you're like, I don't know. But you can go from one down and then be like, you know, because one, two, and three might be easy for you, but then you might get to like six. It might be hard. So just keep going until you can't. No. That's not um... Unless you're debating which one's number one. <laughs> no, I'll put Jordan number one. <laughs> Jordan one, LeBron two. <laughs> All right, I got it now. 
Oh, you go ahead. I got go. Mike. I did that list. <laughs> I got Mike number one, LeBron, Magic, Shaq, Kareem, Tim Duncan, Larry Bird, Hakeem, Kobe, and then Bill Russell, number 10. Okay. There you go. Bill Russell, six foot nine, super center. That y'all think Jokic is better than. But he got 11 rings. <laughs> 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 um, I think, let me see if I can remember off the top. I had like, I think I had Michael Jordan one. I, I switched up actually. I did adjust it after doing some deeper research in time. Um, so I put I put Mike number one, LeBron number two. I guess I have Kareem number three, and I have Magic number four. I put Kobe number five. I put Tim Duncan number six. So the Spurs might get another guy who's top ten. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> I think Larry Bird. I put number seven. I put Shaq eight. I put let me see. Let me make sure. I think I put Wilt at nine, and then I put Akeem at ten. Interesting. All right, Jared, you, not, you, you were one, two, and then you got stuck, and then you never. You never <laughs> <laughs> we, said, we said it really quickly. Yeah. Um, yeah I know you got to think. Who's number three? I'm scared. Magic three. Um, I might do Kobe four, and then Kareem five. Oh, those Lakers. What a blessed franchise. <laughs> That's four Lakers. Plot. So you, you, take, you take Will Chamberlain over Jokic? Um, right now, well, he got to win a championship, but Will Chamberlain obviously like oh, Will Chamberlain has. I'm not putting Jokic top ten, obviously, and I'm not gonna put yeah. Jokic ahead of Will if he wins one championship. We need one like two or three, but Will and his dominance, just according to his time, I would say I have to adjust it for his time rather than just all time. I have to adjust it for his time, and he was all time dominant. He had a 68 win team, won a championship that year, and then you know, so you know, I think he led the league in assists one year as well. Had a 48. Minutes, yeah, it's crazy, right? 48 minutes a game, which is ridiculous as well. I think he played 48.5 minutes a game, which is even crazier. Like, how do you play uh, more minutes than there actually five. is in a game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, there must be some crazy overtimes. There must yeah, be some crazy like overtimes. Yeah. That's like, that's almost like almost every game, like almost every other game is probably an OT or some shit. And there's a long one, too. Two of them, two OTs for real? Like 55, 60 minutes. Wow. No, like, I mean, oh. I'm pretty sure it, it, yeah. it'd probably be like that because that's insane. 50 a game, so yeah. But Jokic has the ability to Jokic obviously play in the 60s, he could do that, but I can't adjust. He got the talent, I, I just adjust for, for a time. Yeah, now the question yeah. is, he got the plot, he got the talent, but does he have the plot to do it? And we'll see, I, and we'll see in this series, Jerry, because you're facing the main character. If you beat him, you got it. Beat yeah, the main it, character, just hey. like that, he got it. Be, beat the main character, that's how you get that's how you win. You beat the main Dirk, Dirk Nowitzki, beat Kobe Bryant. He got it. He's gonna be LeBron. He swept Kobe too. He's gonna be LeBron. <laughs> got it. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Like, you, you be the main character, I got you. But see me, I couldn't be the main character. It's too tough. Too hard. Too hard. Ooh, it's a, it's a legendary. You play a video game, legendary Hall of Fame yeah. challenge. It is. <laughs> Hall of Fame level challenge. It's hard. You know, Maurice, he faced, you know, he faced in the 90s that main character, brute. You know, he faced oh. LeBron when Caramella, brute, couldn't do oh. it either. Tough. Hard. Too hard. Me, Steph Curry, brute, couldn't do it. Too hard. Jared, you got LeBron. You couldn't, you didn't do it last time. Try again. You got another shot. But he win. When he win, tough. Because <laughs> 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 the main character plot is hard. Only people beat the main character. There's another main character. Lakers beat the Warriors. How does, your, how does your team feel different than last time you went? Like, what's different about your team this year than the last time you went against them? And, uh, uh, and the did play you help? Oh, they was injured last time? Who was injured last time? Was Oh, uh, I forgot. Yeah, I know. I know who's injured now. Yeah. I think up. also Jokic, Jokic is just better of a player. He's just a better player now. Like he's more elite, <laughs> more experience. He's more experienced, yeah. more elite, better passer now. He's just improved. As, as the Jamal Murray being gone is almost like warm training for him. I like, think it's a train with like lesser <laughs> players. And I got him yeah. better to be a player as well. So now he got the good players now. That's a good. That's a good arc. That's a good arc. That's a good training arc to be trained with worse players. You got a uh, Compazzo and Bones Highland on them boys. God. Get them boys. <laughs> train with them boys. <laughs> so when you get Jamal Murray. And Porter joining you, then, then we we back up. Good plot, good good job. That's that's a good. We write that down, but we write that down. But you face your best test. Try try again. Yeah. Anthony Davis dropped forty. What you gonna do, baby? You drop forty on you. We'll see. Twenty see. We'll see. Hey, so shout out to Jared and his um ev- you know, evolving plot. We'll see if LeBron shuts it down. Shout out to Maurice and his terrible plot. Purgatory is a terrible place to be. And shout out to me. San Antonio Spurs. I live one hour from San Antonio. I may live in San Antonio one day, but I won't be successful because of the fact that 
they rig and stuff because that is a thousand percent rigged that man's smiling all giddy <laughs> i can't wait everyone's all nervous he's smiling let's get it he's trying to let's hurry up so i can get my plot going i feel it and it worked and tony parker said he, he got drafted by the spurs yeah i know uh, you would know you know you helped him rig it you know you helped rig the thing it's fine <laughs> problem um man. but we'll see um i'll, I'll, I'll tune in in 2040 and in that draft when there's all-time player in 2040 Maybe then I can go ahead and... <laughs> no, he's going to get drafted by the Pelicans or something. He get drafted by the Grizzlies. John Moran already been in jail by then, about 10 years, 15 years. No, he wouldn't. John <laughs> Moran, you're going to get your... John Moran, you're going to get your life back together, John Moran. You hear oh me? Because you need gosh. to. Because <laughs> you capped like crazy in that apology. That was some strong cap. The, your, your homeboy tried to put the camera away from you too, but you know, he, he had the gun out tough. Hey, somebody... So, y'all write your own plot sometimes. Sometimes you write your own plot. He, he write it right in front of me, so there you go. Um... But thank you guys for watching this video. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more videos, for more playoff videos. And hey, let's see what Jared do, man. Hey, see if he beat the plot. And when he don't, we'll get we'll, we'll have a video right for you when he don't. So shout out. We'll get it there. And we'll catch you on the next one. We're out of here. Peace.